Hey guys, so this is a 2010 Land Rover Defender and at the moment she's got a problem. So the problem is that this passenger window, she's a right hand drive because we live in South Africa and we drive on the wrong side of the road but we sit on the right side of the car. So this window here, when you put it up, it would cluck 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 near the top and um, start hopping and I thought, oh dear, this happened previously and I changed the mechanism on the right hand window so I thought I'd have it have a go at it and see um, what we can do so I've taken the mechanism out sorry I'm only started filming once I started the job so we've got the mechanism out these two bolts at the bottom here there and there you loosen those you don't have to take them out just loosen them and then it frees the mechanism um, six bolts one or two nuts one there one there and then four bolts around there and the mechanism comes out and clips from the electric um, motor there that winds it up and down. So um, I'm going to show you now what is wrong with the actual mechanism. So here's the mechanism I've got on the workbench now and I thought initially that maybe one of the teeth would be worn so let's turn it over here but you can see all those teeth all seem fine but the problem is here this little pin that kind of clamps the mechanism the whole lot together you see that thing there is worn that thing there so let's see if we can get it to move doing one hand because i'm trying to film see that there so that's the problem if we turn it over got another part on this side the same thing happened on the driver's side window a, a while back and i changed the whole mechanism but it was a little bit pricey and so this time i'm gonna have a go and see if we can fix it um so <laughs> If we can, then this, if, if, if we can fix it, then you're watching this video. So <laughs> it means we've come right. So we've got that little grommet thing out there. And there's the broken, broken thing. There. You can see it's pretty worn around the edges. And um, I've marked it. You can see these black marker marks here. And the reason for that is um, I think that I'm not sure what stops the motor when it goes up and down, whether it's a current thing or whether there's a little switch mechanism, but I don't want to have to strip the thing again. Okay, so what I've found now is I've got this 12 socket and it fits into that hole quite nicely. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the end of it off now with a grinder, both sides, and try and fit it in there. And I found this old bolt, which is a 10, 10 more bolt, which goes through those holes. So, let's see what happens, Magara. Right, so that perfectly good socket is cut. There's the other piece. Oh, that was hot. <laughs> right, so after burning myself on the little hot piece, and I had cooled this one, forgot to cool the other one. So that's going to fit in there just perfectly like that. It seems to be sitting nicely on the bottom. I'm going to cut this one off as well now, and put the bolt through with the nut. And um, I'm sure I'm going to have to lubricate it well. I don't know what's going to wear. Or how long it will last and um, what I do know is this piece here is an alloy sorry out of focus uh, that piece there is an alloy and um, obviously this is just pressed metal um, so and there didn't seem to be too much lubrication on it but what I'll do now is obviously the socket's going to be a lot harder than this now um, I will put it give it a, give it a lot of lubrication though and see what happens right so there's my 12 socket that's cut into three pieces and um, I'm going to try and assemble it now and see what happens. Right so I've got this apart at the moment and I'm going to just um, with it apart like this I can give this a good greasing here and and I know what's probably going to happen they probably don't design it with grease on so that you don't have grinding paste and um, when the dust gets in yeah but oh, you know what Let's hope it doesn't happen. <laughs> so there's my grease on all my surfaces. I put that back and um, we made those marks so we can make sure that it's lined up and I'll get my bolts in. Okay, so the bolt is in, and um, we've got a lot of grease on there, 
the socket, little piece of the center piece of the socket is in there. What I've noticed on the other side, if I can look here, it's very important that that is not just a normal bolt because this is pretty close there. So it needs to go past that. So there's a little bit of a gap there now. It'll make it past. And now obviously with the socket in there is created a spacer. So I was able to tighten this 17 nutcher oh. pretty tight, one-handed. So that's pretty tight. It's got a spring nut, spring washer on it. And if we move this now, you'll see there's a little bit of play. I could probably take a fraction off that socket, but you know what? I'm going to just leave it like this. So that's it. Cool. Right, so we've got our mechanism ready to go back in. And um, it's going to fit into that big slot at the bottom there. There's our four bolts um, here that came out and the two studs that go through those two holes in the middle there. I'm going to lift the glass up to get it out the way and then I'll get the mechanism in and um, we'll take it from there. So we've got that all tightened back in and we've got the motor reconnected um, but the mechanism where the glass goes on to, you can see the glass is still staying, standing at the top so I'm just going to put the ignition on and drop the window so I can... Okay so I've got that drop down now and I'm going to bring the window down and um, there are two bolts on the bottom of the of the window that are going to go into that there and that there. Guys, if you do this, this is like a pair of electrical scissors. Do not put your fingers in the way and have the ignition on or anything like this. Um, <laughs> it'll slice your fingers. I remember as a young boy my dad got his fingers caught in the windscreen wiper mechanism. And it was no fun. He nearly lost his finger that day. So, be careful. So here we go with this down now. Um, we need to line those up and slot them in and we can tighten them up too. Okay, we've got that in. Both of them in and tight. Now for the time of reckoning. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we got everything on. And ignition's on. And here we go. And here we go. Windows going up to the top. Down. All the way down. Just like a bought one. Now and put this video together. Great. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.